Hey everyone, Drake and Magnus here for another bonus episode of Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. In the last bonus episode, we caught our next Shadow Pokemon here, Ursa Ring, and got bombarded by more unknown trainers who just seemed to congeal in the hallways to get my way. In this episode, we're hopefully going to go back to find Gonzap and battle him. And please don't jump down. Oh, thank God. Uh, just as a note of reference, Gonzap is the str one of the strongest trainers in the game. In fact, he makes Device look weak, so I'm a little iffy on whether I can beat him or not. Um, up I think I want to go. Damn this place for being so maze-like. Uh, no, nothing, okay. So where the hell is the staircase that leads to that office-like area that we saw? Is that the item? There has to be one somewhere. God, I'm amazed there's no one in the way yet. That's the snag machine that I stole, or where the snag machine would be. Damn this friggin' maze. And that's the way out. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we discovered that led to nowhere. Um, do I want to go down? Sure, I'll go down. Maybe that'll help me. Yes, I remember this. Okay, now we're going the right way. Move, get out the way, get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Oh, I forgot to mention I changed my party. I have Reiko in the front with Flambe. And I got Quagmire and Doctor Who out of the PC, and I can heal just to be safe. And let's heal him. I think all of Gonzap's Pokemon are level 64, so yeah, that's a thing. So my Pokemon have been getting leveled, so... Ah, oh, there he is! There's Baldi. It doesn't look like there's anything else still of interest. Hey, Baldy. Quahaha! Pretty brazen for a trainer to come stumbling back, eh, Draco? I got careless back at Railgam Tower. But this is the Snagum Hideout. We might be shattered, but this is my home turf. This is where I make my stand. I can't lose. He does have home team advantage. I did not want that close-up look on his ugly face. Crap, he didn't send out who I was hoping he'd send out first. Oh well. The Breloom is still out here, so I can deal with that. I can probably just bombard his Breloom since it's a fighting grass type. What is with these epically powerful people that love to use X attacks? Seriously, what's up with that? Down goes Breloom one shot. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, Gron Bolt. Now I really want to send out Chuck. Because now, um. You know what the hell with it? I'm sending Chuck out. Actually, no. I'll leave Rayco out, have her use Confuse Ray on our mall, though, in case it knows Earthquake or something. And now I'll send Chuck out. And our mall, though, is a gr uh, rock bug type, so he's weak to water. Steel, I think he's also weak to, so... Worst case scenario, I can send out Dr. Hootie and Steel Wing on him. 
but I know Water Steel and I think Rock was actually good too. Oh, F your Hyper Beam! Yeah, survive. And not for long. Hit yourself! Hit yourself! Yes! And since Gromble has to conveniently charge after doing an attack like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, crap. That's right, I forgot I no longer have. Hit yourself. They both have hyper beam. I hate you so much it hurts me. Oh my god. Hey, Doctor Who, I'll get rid of Armaldo. And I'll use Reiko's turn to heal Chuck back up. that lovely. Okay, now Quagmire, he'll use Surf, which will more than likely want to KO him, although I'm hoping, please, for the love of God, let it. Alright, now Chuck is back, at least. Surf! Good. Oh, well, this isn't good. Please tell me that doesn't do much. Oh, come on! What is with this hyper beam hitting me one shot and killing me bullshit? I know it's a powerful move, but this is ridiculous! Back to full Kariyama, so he'll survive for a little bit. Please, please, one hit KO the Grondle. Yes! Okay. So two down. That just leaves four more, which could be. Well, including Armaldo, that's four. So three more, which could be Machamp, or two Water Pokemon, which should be taken out easily by Static. And it's a water dark type. From all those, probably gonna take out Chuck with a hyper beam, so I'm gonna go for it and try. If I'm lucky, it'll hit itself and not use a dark move. Really? Oh, that's because it was super effective. Right, that makes sense now. Okay. Oh, crap, I never brought Quagmire back. And since that's a rock type, this could end horribly for me. Pick yourself. I hate you. That was super effective. Didn't do as much damage as hope, or I thought it would. Not hoping. What am I talking about? I don't hope that he wipes me out. That'd be stupid. Um. Uh, I don't know who I want to bring back. Quagmire. Diggity. Please, please let me go first. Yes. Damn it! Hit yourself, please. Please. Oh god, no! Why? Great. So now next turn I'm gonna get wiped out by another hyper beam from the stupid Armaldo. Actually, I send out Flambe, which is a suicidal move, but... Hit yourself. Thank you. He might damage himself enough. 
Okay, Draco, how am I going to... Actually, no, I'll use both of them for healing. And Static is more useful in this scenario, so... Because he has two water Pokemon, and one is a water flying, so... Let me guess, Flambe? Fuck's up. God, let Thunder hit this time. Actually, no. No healing this time. Diffuse Ray again. That seems to be helping me a great deal. Thunder. Oh, I should also bring up, he has no Shadow Pokemon, Don Zap. So Zap! Run! Run! Alright! Hooray! A level! Hooray! Another level! Yeah, you can't. Now you can go back and act like that way. Please save yourself. Yes! Okay. If I'm lucky, he'll confuse it, uh, hit himself to death. Oh, that didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. Hopefully this does more. Okay, now if I'm lucky, hit yourself. Yes! So much luck! Armando! And then Garid, uh, Garidos? Garidos, excuse me. Okay. Now, Sardine so finished with Champ, and Thunder on Garidos. Fuck Champ! I was really worried about this fight, but it seems luck, uh, luck is on my side. And it looked like Gyarados was having a seizure there. Are, are you- is your Gyarados okay, Gonzap? Seriously, I feel like you should be concerned about this. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Please don't kill one shot. Oh, it's super effective. Of course it will. Why does it have Earthquake? Why? Left to bring out his quiet fire. The water flying plate. What else do you need to grasp? I don't have that with me. Since he has earthquake, I could make a chance and bring back Doctor Who would be immune to it, but I'd rather bring back Static because he's super effective, strong against him. Hit yourself. Give me that paper. Thank you. Okay. Good. Hit yourself. Also good. See how little Shadow Ball does. If he hits himself again, he's more than likely going to... Well, KO himself. Although, the KO should more than likely be... Let's use a Max Ether, Static, Thunder. Now, in case it doesn't... I hate you. Gonzap, you ass. I hate you. I hope you rot. Use your 
survives. No, he didn't survive. Well, it was worth a shot. Did he snap out of confusion? I think so. Oh, here goes nothing. I think Empress went first before, or er, went before Gyarados, so I should be okay on that front if it hits. No, Gyarados went first. Of course he did. Because why wouldn't he go first? Actually, I have a plan now. I'm gonna bring Doctor Who back this time. With a regular revive. Forgot I had those max revives, I should probably invest in those. Or not invest, you know what I mean. I mean, uh, use one on uh, static to bring it back at full. Now hit yourself. Good. Okay, Shadow Ball. Actually, no. Now will be the time where I use one of my max revives. Bring back Static to full. Knockdown will put him to sleep. How many floor stores do you have, you flying ass? No. Rico is too valuable here. If it stays asleep, Static can manage to use Thunder finally and wipe them out. Please. Please let me do that. Good. I think he's still confused, so doing Confuse Red would be pointless. Guaranteed to knock him out if I get Please hit. Thunder! Yes! Zazak! Garrodos! Hooray, a level! I got set. Gar! You've grown more powerful! You're damn right I have. I think this is the last time we see Gonzap ever. The way things are, I won't give you the satisfaction of asking why you blew up the hideout and abandoned Team Snagum. But you remember this, so long as I breathe, Team Snagum will rise from the shadows again. And with it will come your downfall. Live in fear! Wahahaha! <laughs> Oh hey, left something on the table, I think. Yep, definitely something shiny on the table. The D-Disc. Hmm. I think this constitutes a visit to the Under. So I'm going to cut this here and I'll see you guys I guess in the Under. Guess who ambushed us on the way out? Arton. Hmm. Who would have thought it? I get to battle you again. Why are there so many people hanging in this one area? What, are they just crowded up in that one spot and they all fall one at a time, just randomly when I get here? Uh, now where was Arton in Real Gam? Did we steal his Deli Bird? I think so. Yes, we're the one who stole his Deli Bird. And since I'm never coming back here, I won't have to fight anyone else that we've seen from sight from uh, Real Gam. Arton is the last person here. And he has a roundabout the same Pokemon. Huh? 
except for the Celio. Celio must be replacing his deli bird. Hello. Hit yourself, let my luck with confused hit, uh, work. Thank you. Yeah, did not get that sentence out of my mouth. What? How did they not go down? It's an ice type Pokemon, that should have been super effective. Yourself. Yes. Didn't kill it though. Bummer. Oh well. Oh, it was super effective. It just didn't knock him out one shot. Like I Oh, I shouldn't have battled after all. cutting this here and I'll meet you in the under now that I won't have to deal with any more cypher peon losers. See you guys then. Alright, here we are in the under coliseum because, you know, I went down the elevator and I got a random email because why not? Who is this? Bit from the under. Hi, it's Bit in the, in the under. I was taking photos the other day when I saw a guy with this amazing head. So I snapped him. He was singing this weird song, something about the Colosseum being his new place. Mirror B? And it looks like the elevator's going down. Huh. So Mirror B is living in a Colosseum that's down? Deeper in the under? Interesting. Uh, before we go that way, let's talk to this guy for a change. Faifu fomut fafu fifui fafui fufi fufnarf You don't say. Huh. That was eligible. I could totally, totally understand that. Anywho, let's use the D-disc we got, which I assume from that picture means down. Okay, use D-disc. All systems set for travel in the downward direction. Board now, please. Oh, you'll notice... No, not PDA. I wanted to show you the items again. You'll notice I arranged my discs to make a word. Rud. It's not a real word, but it's a word. Rud. Kind of like front, front. Anyway, going down. Oh, they look shiny. Found steel teeth. What, is the guy who owned this friggin' Jaws from James Bond? Anyway, you know, before we go further on, let's, let's see if that old timer, uh... Let's talk to that old timer again, see if these are his. Yes, I will use the F in front disc. Get out of the way, bitchy. We have... We have some steel teeth to give to an old man. That are super safe. Oh, 
Uh, me fa thief. Sure. Hello. Pokemon Pikachu. Pick the peck of Pokeballs. Ah, no more Alice. Oh, I can finally talk normally again. You're a savior. Thank you for your kindness. It's perhaps not much of a thanks, but I'd like you to have this. The eldest. I have another one, so don't concern yourself over me. Oh, well, fantastic. And now I'm going to make a new word. Fruddle. Fruddle! If I had an E, that would be better, but I don't care. Fruddle is fine with no E. Now let's check out the left direction so we can finally get that box. And then we'll go back to the deep area to see if we can find near B. All systems set for travel in the leftward direction. Board now, please. I shall, thank you. To the left! Take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Don't know why I thought that at that moment, but okay. I would just like to bring up that there is no point in this left disc except for if there's a treasure chest here. Just saying. Now what I win? One amulet coin. The amulet coin, if you give it to a uh, Pokemon, if you get that, if you give it to the first Pokemon in your party, it doubles the money that you have. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it's if the person is in the battle with the amulet coin, or I'm sorry, the Pokemon is in the battle with the coin, you get double the money you would have gotten. This does not work for Colosseum challenges. Your reward will still be the same regardless. However, if you battle a single trainer, your reward will, in fact, be doubled. So keep that in mind. Anyway, let's go back to the creepy basement of the under. It looks like it might have a ghost jump out at us or something. And after you give the old man his teeth, those are all of the discs for the UFO. Up, down, left, right, forward, and down. Oh, and up. I said up, right? Up, down, left, right, forward. Up, down, left, right, forward. Yep, that's all of them. Huh. There's that guy. A Pokemon Healy thingy. And the save point. Which can only mean one thing. This is... The... Hold on. I have to go back for the name, excuse me. The Deep Coliseum. Actually, it's just called Deep Coliseum, but whatever. So I'm going to do this now. There'll be four annotations on the screen. If you haven't been watching any of the Coliseum challenges, I recommend you watch challenge number four of this one. Because, in fact... No, I'm sorry, there's five challenges. The fifth challenge of the Under Coliseum. Because the last trainer in challenge number five has a Shadow Pokémon. Also, if you plan on doing the Under Coliseum, be, or the Deep Coliseum, excuse me, be forewarned. Though Challenge 1 is fairly easy, because it has, everyone has at least Pokemon level 60 or 61. Actually, the highest level looks to be 62, I think. The Challenge 1 isn't that bad, until you get to, like, Mirror B, because he's the last of the first one. Uh, Challenge 2 doesn't look too bad either. Challenge 3 is alright. Challenge 4 is okay. They're in, still in 60s and the highest being 63. Or 65, excuse me. But challenge number 5, the last guy... Actually no, all of them have high 60 Pokemon, so be careful on the last challenge. But, I think we're gonna either cut or end this episode here, so... Hold on, let me end this, see how long it is. Okay, yeah, we're gonna end this episode, uh, bonus episode here. So I'll see you guys in the next one. After the one in the deep, there's only one Shadow Pokemon left. 
See you guys then.